Praise the Lord. I welcome you back from the Ghana GCK. And I believe that the Lord bless you tremendously, abundantly, as He blessed us there in Jesus' name. Really, really, did the Lord bless you? Where are you? The blessing, the permanent in Jesus' name. Since we came back from Accra, Ghana, we've been hearing spectacular, spectacular testimonies. Apart from what happened at the crusade field, a lot of things happen, and their testimony is their miracle spontaneous. Not wait, God is coming. God was there, and He was there promptly to bless the people and to break every chain and to destroy all the works of the devil. Then the people did uh, something they no, don't normally do in other places after we had finished and we came back they were to leave very early because of the flight and as we came to the airport uh, some of the people uh, the security person told me some people are here to see you for prayer I thought we had done all the prayer at the crusade field. And then I said, uh, just, we don't have much time. They said it'll be very quick. And they brought them in batches, this batch and this batch and this batch. I was only inside my heart. When are these people going to finish? They want us to start another crusade here. And then they brought them in batches. And all those batches were prayed, were prayed, were prayed. I mean I prayed um, and then uh, this particular batch almost the last one they brought this child and the child could not walk could not talk don't act as if you have heard because I know you've seen it online and, uh, and then we prayed and so I said God bless you and and, and they didn't have time to touch the people they just stayed there you know like we used to do at Bagada after the service I'm recording this trainer where we well, you know stay there and they say some people need, I say stay there and then I come and then I pray for them and then I go and some people will stay there and still they're crying I see touch me touch me pray for me but over there we just prayed and then they went out and they were, as they were going out this child that had cerebral problem brain problem and also that had speech problem and could not uh, walk and they got outside still in the airport the miracle happened and um, and so the mother was so excited rolling on the ground and then they came to tell me was still there in Ghana they came to tell me there is a commotion or chaos outside because you know airport people and all that they joined them and they were watching a great miracle it will happen in your life and then and then we now came back here and somebody sent a message yesterday and said that uh, there was another one that had real, I think the bone was broken, or, oh, sorry, did it have bone in the leg, rubber, flesh. And they called yesterday, they sent yesterday to say bone has come back to that leg. And then another one mental, having mental problem. Actually, the wife of a pastor, a leader, mental problem. And they came to the airport too. And by the grace of God now, we're told that what she wasn't able to do before, household things and everything, talking, everything normal, miracle upon your life 
and so the message today is not going to be based on the exodus we studied we're making a special study of believers praiseworthy pursuit after god's glorious visitation we're celebrating god's glorious visitation upon your life upon my life upon our church everywhere in jesus name you must have today you must have the foretaste of your own visitation 